Good morning dear students let us take a look at a question from JE advanced 2020 this question is from the modern physics chapter let us first analyze the question a particle of mass m moves in circular orbits so we can see that here is a particle of mass m its potential energy is given by v of r equals to capital f times r where f is a positive constant and r is its distance from the origin so if the distance of this mass from the origin is small r then its potential energy is given by capital f into r its energies are calculated using the bohr model so just a brief about the bohr's model if we are applying the bohr's model for this particle here then we consider that this particle is moving in a circular orbit so that is the first thing the second thing is the energy of each orbit is fixed and the third point is angular momentum of each orbit equals integral multiple of h by 2 pi also i want you to notice when uh, this particle is transitioning from one state to other okay so it can either be in uh, this orbit or it can either be in this orbit it cannot be there anywhere in between so you see it is just vanishing from here and uh, appearing here if the radius of the particle's orbit is denoted by capital r and its speed and energy be denoted by v and e so if the radius of this particle's orbit let us say this is the nth orbit if this radius is capital r its energy is e and its speed is v then for the nth orbit he has given four options out of which one or more options could be correct what we will do is we'll take each option and we'll give it a true or false so we are taking two options a and b and we'll either give it a true or give it a false so for all the questions which involve one or more than one correct option this is what we will be doing taking each option and giving it either a true or false so the first two options here are radius is proportional to n power 1 by 3 and speed is proportional to n power 2 by 3 or radius is proportional to n power 2 by 3 and speed is proportional to n power 1 by 3 so if the potential energy of this particle is given by capital f into r the force is given by minus dv by dr so the force equal to minus f or this force acting on the particle is a constant irrespective of whichever state the particle is in so you can observe here that the particle either is in this state or uh, this state the magnitude of force which is acting on it is a constant the force on the particle is capital f the radius of its orbit is capital r and its speed is v we can write f equals to mv square by r the mass of the particle is m its speed is v and uh, the radius of its orbit is r and if it is going in the nth orbit we can write angular momentum which is m into v into r equals to integral multiple of h by 2 pi and this uh, integ integer is nothing but the orbit number in equation 1 f and uh, m is constant so we can write v square by r is a constant or v is proportional to root r from equation 1 in equation 2 mass is constant h and 2 pi are constants so we can write v into r is proportional to n so from equation 2 v into r is proportional to n v is proportional to root r so putting this result in this equation we get root r times r proportional to n or r is proportional to n power 2 by 3 r is proportional to n power 2 by 3 so putting r equal to n power 2 by 3 here so if we put n power 2 by 3 in place of r here we'll get v proportional to n power 1 by 3 so we get this as the answer and we can say option a is not correct it is false and option b is true
in the options c and d he has asked us what is the total energy of this particle the total energy of the particle equals to its kinetic energy plus potential energy so potential energy he has given in the question so that will be f into capital r and kinetic energy will be equal to half m v square as f equals to mv square by r here mv square equals to f into r so i'm putting here mv square as f into r and we get kinetic energy equals to f into r divided by 2 the total energy of the body is kinetic energy plus potential energy kinetic energy is fr by 2 and potential energy is f into r so the total energy is 3 by 2 fr now we just need to find the radius in terms of the other quantities from angular momentum equation we have mvr equals to nh by 2 pi or i'll just take these two terms to rhs and we'll get v equals to nh divided by 2 pi r into m as our objective is to find capital r we will put the value of v in this equation so that v gets eliminated and we'll be left with the equation in terms only of r so if we put v here we'll get f equal to m v square so this whole thing square divided by r simplified further we take uh, this r square and r this side so r cube equals to n square h square divided by 4 pi square m into capital f we have the value of r from here so r will be equal to this whole expression power 1 by 3 we require the value of total energy so that is 3 by 2 f times r we put from this equation here so finally we get e equals to 3 by 2 times n square h square f square divided by 4 pi square m whole power 1 by 3 so finally this is the answer to our question and c option is not correct will mark it as false and d option is correct will mark it as true let us have a look at the schematic once again 